Okay, um, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Uh, this meeting is being recorded. The meeting is the Hadley Mosquito Opt Out 22, 4 p.m. And um, we'll get started. Um, all right, first thing, assignment of a note taker. Always the fun thing to do. I don't see any hands being raised. Tony, I know you've done it recently. Sorry, Bobby, I didn't hear you. Shell is coming on now. I just okay. Just got home. I just um, so I missed what you said. I was calling Shell. Okay. Uh, we need we need to a uh, volunteer to take notes to be the note taker for this meeting. Anyone raising their hand? I think Shell. I mean, I can do it again, Michelle. You, could you take a turn or? Um, ideally, I'll I do would. It. Okay. Um, Just for the record, this is why I wanted to have a, a person as scheduled before so we didn't have to stare at right. each other each week. Just keep doing it. I guess it's um, fine. I'll try to, when I can update this other thing I take notes on, I'll take notes. But this is a, a fragile laptop that I take notes on. Okay, Tony, no thank, you. Th um, thank you for agreeing. And we will. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's very helpful. Okay, all right, so uh, approval of minutes. Uh, welcome, Shell. Approval of minutes from the April 4th meeting. Any corrections, changes? I have one minor change, and I, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it correctly. On the second page, and these are great notes. Thank you so much, Tony. Um, is it the Ves Vester Management, Vespa Management on the second page? What is the name of the company, Jane? Ves Vesta? Vesta, V-E-S-T-A. T-A, okay, now Vesta. Vesta, okay, that's, we'll make that correction. And you have a Word doc version, Bobby, so I you do. can make that. Awesome. I will make the change, yes. Any other changes or corrections on the minutes? Is there a motion to approve the minutes as corrected? So move. So moved. I'll second. Tony seconded. All right. Minutes are approved as amended. All right. Now the fun stuff. Okay. Update on other town applications. Um, um, I, I don't know how much this process matters, but I think you're supposed to vote for me to be the note taker. Oh, so. thank you. Okay. All those things. Um, so Bobby yeah. proposes and I'll second. Okay, <laughs> sorry. All those <laughs> Just reading a note too much. Aye. 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 All, all eyes opposed. If you oppose, you get to take notes. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Thanks, Tony. All right, thank you for keeping us on the straight and narrow. Okay, updates on other town applications. If no one has, does anyone have any? I just have a quick one. Um, I know that Northampton is going to submit again. I didn't have a conversation with her, although she was she's a commissioner on the Pine and Valley Mosquito Control District, and I met her on a Zoom call, and they are indeed going to apply again. I didn't think because the application was so different from last year that there was a lot of relevance and understanding what they were going to do again, what not going to do, but if you think that it would be important, I will follow up with her. Um, any, do you want to wait till we get into the application and see if it makes sense or? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm curious, I think through this whole conversation, I'm curious, well, I think the decisions we're going to have to make is like how, how much more than three are we going to do? We have to do at least three, the three things, like how many sub categories are we going to do? And so maybe, yeah, it might be useful to end up looking just to see like, Northampton that has staff and everything, like how all in were they compared to, you know, we don't want to do more than at Northampton. All right. So that is a conversation. How much did they actually do? Um, okay. I will follow up then, try to get a hold of her. Anything else on other town applications? Okay. Can we move on to uh, other resources and spring outreach activities? Um, we're still on for the 23rd, Michelle, you, that event is still on, right? Yes, that event is still on. Um, I, 
I did not go to the meeting, but they said they would give me all the publicity for it. And I can, um, Jane, you were at Hadley Learns instead of that meeting, or were you back? They learned. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll co continue to plan to be there. I've ordered additional items from DPH and we'll, we'll take it from there and I'll be at the table. And I think Tony, you said you might be there sometime if you could, but we're going to move ahead with the April 23rd event. Okay. I have a uh, town meeting. We're all set. I, um, I've talked to Spank Randy. Randy. Randy, I've talked to Randy. That's what the town suggests. I talked to Randy. Randy has approved the publications. We're good to go for, so we will have a table at the town meeting. Uh, to to hand out those two brochures. Are are we still on um spring outreach activities? Um, when you get the posters, Vesta said I could hang them there. So. Oh, okay. I needed. I I I'm okay. I I will get some more, but um to the detail now of of the outreach. Or should we get to the application? I believe we are still on for outreach activities. Um, uh, but I think the more imminent thing at this point that, oh that's fine application or okay. that's fine i just just remind me to mention something about the asparagus festival well go when ahead we and mention there. it go ahead um i mean it's fine to table with us at friends of lake warner and um reading minutes from the climate action committee they will also have a table there so just just so you're aware you can decide whom to piggyback with. It might make more sense to be with the climate committee just because they're two town bodies and uh, a lot of overlap in um, the messaging. And, and that's not till June 4th. So you have some time to figure that out. Okay. Uh, just because I'm trying to, I'm curious to take notes here. Um, the we talked about the um, asparagus festival and the climate day, but was there a third event in the middle there that I was I missed? Yeah, April twenty third. I thought that was the climate day event. I'm confused. Yes, yeah, it is. But I thought there was something else mentioned. What's June fourth? Asparagus. Asparagus. asparagus festival. Oh, okay. I mixed. I mixed. Uh, thank you for the clarification. Okay. So there is the Memorial Day parade, May twenty. Ninth, between June fourth and April twenty third. Okay. What day is that again, Jane? May Sunday what? the twenty ninth. The twenty ninth. Okay. Oh, Sunday. Okay. I am already signed up for the Climate Change Committee and the Asparagus Festival and the Senior Center on May seventh. I don't. Anyone else? Wait, wait, wait. You just said it. That's it. May it's 7th. the Senior Center Open House. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Bobby. May 7th. <laughs> uh, Good job, and Bobby. I have that on my calendar, too. Okay. But, um, um, May 29th, Memorial Day Festival. I'm not sure what we would... Is there a tail? Right, just walk around and hand them to people. booked. <laughs> I, I don't know that. I, I mean, I'm concerned that we walk around and hand them to people, but people are standing all the way around the street. I hate to have them just trashing it. I Anyone else have any thoughts? Um, I may or may not be around, so I don't want to volunteer for that it's for that weekend. Um, yeah, same. Can, maybe uh, we should just wait and see. We can talk about it next time. Okay. We'll, we'll plan that later. Okay. Um, all right. And then I'll say, so posters, I've got to get posters to folks. Jane, I will get those to you at the senior center. Is that what we decide for distribution? That's the easiest place to leave them. And I need five of English and five of Spanish. Okay. No, six. I need six of each. Six. Okay. Anyone else ready for posters or do you want to hold off? Are those going to be indoors or do you want me to laminate them? They're indoors. Okay. 
The one that I'm agreeing to hang at Barstow's is also indoors. Okay. And I'm going to shut my video because my internet connection is really wonky and I'm hoping maybe I'll hear you better. Okay. I will, I will drop off just a bunch of posters to you, Jane. And uh, I've got some more in order, but I'll, I'll drop off the posters. Um, I'll do that. Did you get the things for the schools, those little brochure booklets? Booklets, yep. Um, how many did you want? 50 for each school. So the is nurse's that the office is going to have them. Wonderful. So that's the flat one, not the little accordion one, right? Yes. Okay, so each school, so that's two? Two bundles of 50? Yes. Okay, I've got those on order. I think I might have enough. Okay, get those yeah. two. Bobby, if you don't want to make a trip all the way down to my neighborhood, you can stick it in the mail, the one flyer that I agreed to hang. Um, Shell, I'd rather drop it off. Um, it's flat. If it's a if it's a poster. No problem. I just thought I'd save you some trouble. Well, it cost me more in postage, I think, to send. I don't have envelopes. So, Shell Offline, you can send me your address. Okay. Bobby, I can come to your place and pick up posters. I'm pretty close okay. to you. Okay. Or, and I got to pick up a tire from you, Michelle. So maybe we can make plans to. Okay. <laughs> and Bobby, I need to go by your place and by Shell's. So maybe I could go to your place first. And then um, go sounds good. And Tony, don't and drive it to Shell's. Tony. But don't, we're not going to talk about that. But yeah. I'm saying that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, Tony's going to drop my pickup. Go, go ahead, Shell. Michelle, if you happen to get it to her before Friday, Michelle has a dinner date with me on Friday for the Seder. So that's another way. For, Tony, you and I will coordinate. Okay, sounds good. And I'll get them to Jane before, um, before Friday, before the end of the day, Friday. Okay. I'm leaving at two Friday. I'm leaving at three. So it'll probably be first thing in the well, morning maybe Monday. Is good. Monday. Monday. Monday's Monday. a holiday. Again, it's closed. Tuesday. That works. Okay. okay. I think we got a plan. All right. We're, we're moving right along. Let's see. Was there anything else on the, uh, on the agenda? Let's see. So I have a whole long list of to do's that I guess would be old business. Should I yes. walk through? Yes, let's look at the to do's. That was on the minutes, right? Yeah. And I've already managed to lose it. <laughs> minutes. Okay. I'll just start you off, Bobby, and then you can find it. Jane, uh, you were going to talk to DPW and the Conservation Commission, uh, Shiloh. So I did not talk to DPW to get a, um, I do have a wetlands map of Hadley, and I have a uh, website, you probably know it, that you can go to and pull it up and then magnify it to whatever amount you need to really zoom in on the, the location of the wetlands. I didn't get the ditches because the town is having a pushback at the moment, so I'm just sat riding that one out, but I will get them. Okay. Push back against the CONCOM on but the ditches? No, like push CP, back against CPW, all I mean? the different committees that are asking things from the town. And the issue is town meeting is coming and everybody's crazy. So they're feeling overworked. And then I come in and I say, I need this. Or someone else comes in and says, I need this. So it's better just to chill a little bit. Okay. And I think the wetlands thing um, is... At this point, because of the current new application, there's a lot less pressure for all that background. So we have a little breathing room, I think, on the wetlands. It'd be good information to have, but it's not a must have, I don't believe, for the application. For all right, well, I'll send you all the email link. Okay. Okay. Um, to do's, let's see. I am. Still working on the MOOC website. I'm sorry. I'm just, I've got everything in PDF. I've just got to post it and then it's got to go live. So I'll let you know when it's live within the next two weeks. I, I'm going to give myself a two week deadline to get that going. Okay. Um, do you want me just to go through the 
yes. going through the to-do list. Okay, yes. Jane, thank you for um, signing up for so many things. <laughs> um, so there was a note here that you would work with Bobby to decide the time for the May 7th event. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Bobby and did you and Bobby decide when your Bobby is tabling for the May 7th or speaking for right. May, the May we 7th? We haven't time? done that yet. Okay. Because May 7th is still in the formulating process. But I'm thinking um, either at lunchtime or from 10 to 11 when there's going to be music and no speaker. Okay. I'll, I'll wait to hear from you. I'm available that day. Okay. So we'll confirm that. Okay. Okay. Um, Jane. Yes. <laughs> So this is where it says Vester again. I'm sorry, I didn't get it right. Um, see if they're, uh, they'll allow posting in the building. See if? They would allow posting in the building, in their they, building? Yes. In this Vester in the town management, hall. Vespa management? I'm not sure. What yes. Vesta, yes. Yes, I can put up the posters. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get them to her, six and six. Sorry okay. if you already said that. Uh, oh, is oh. That, that in the schools? No, no. Okay. This, no. Never mind. the schools are just getting the nurse's office little fold out brochures. Okay. One more. Uh, and, and you're going to post to the municipal buildings, but you don't have them yet. Yes. So that's not something you didn't right. do. Or you and the senior about. center and the library. Right. Um, <laughs> and, and it's Vesta with a B E S T A, I think. Yes, yes, we made yeah. that correction. Thank you. Yeah. Now, yeah, but I would have made it wrong again on this one. So thank you. Because <laughs> I didn't hear what the correction was. Um, uh, table at town meeting, Bobby? Yep, we're all set on that. We're, okay. we're approved. Um, uh, uh, da -da -da -da. So you got the materials from DPH. Um, Website, Tire, uh, Meredith, um, Michelle, what friends like Warner. Shell, did you reach out to Michael Doctor? Um, I didn't. Um, remind I me when I was supposed gone. to gone. Yeah, he's away for the next like five weeks. Oh, really? Because I talked to him a few weeks ago. He was back and he was more available. Um, no, they're headed to where I forget where they're going. Um, Europe. Yeah, that's right. They're going to like Spain and they're biking through Europe. Wow. Nice. Okay. Okay. All right. My last the last thing on the to-do list here before we talk about the application is um, uh the I didn't make all the notes about all the places to post materials around town, but we don't have them yet. So I guess we'll just come back to that list next time we meet. Okay. I actually updated the strategic plan, which we haven't really formalized and I can send that out to folks. I added in from what we said we would do from the last meeting. So I will send it out to folks. Bobby, do you still want me to try to borrow a sliced tire from the farm? Well, I think, I think I'm going to just get a regular tire from Michelle. Um, save yourself the effort, Shell. Okay. I want to show people what what they what it looks like and why it's a problem, and I can talk to them how they she might cut it in half. Tony, you're unmuted. You were saying something. I was telling my son that I can't watch the cartoon he wants to show. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I think that was a list of to dos. I think we're well on our way. Okay. Next item on the agenda. Um, okay. We've oh, coordination with Board of Health. I think it's going to be important that, that once we, that we really connect with them. I mean, it's really the Board of Health who this application has a lot of impact on uh, from all the other towns that go through the Board of Health. So Jane, any update on when we might meet with them? So the Board of Health is, uh, Greg Mish is up for re-election, but Greg Mish is very ill and may not be able to serve on the board. Ooh. So they're sort of scrambling to have two people do the work of three at the moment. Mm. Well, they do I did... have They do have a, a part-time office person now, and they have a 
part an additional inspecting person, but there's still a lot of what organization and behind the scenes thing that boards are supposed to do. Well, I think my my concern is just I just want to make sure they're in the loop and they because and approve what we do because it is very specific in the guidelines from last year and this year that the board that we've coordinated. All right. Well, they are not meeting this. This week, so I will check in with them next week. Yeah, well, there, yeah. I, there, I would say, go ahead. Their only posted meeting for April was last week on Thursday. I don't know if they met. They only post them like the week before. Okay. Well, what I'll do at least is I I'll drop off the publications that we're handing out at town meeting, since they are from Mass Department of Public Health, <laughs> just to keep them in the loop. They won't say where the heck did these come from. Right. Uh, if you if you give me one of each, I can get them to them. That's easy. Okay. All right. I I have an envelope. I'll drop it off when I drop off the posters. Okay. Just, okay. Because basically, I think that's what they want. But I just I I really value their insight. It is a public health issue, so um, I don't want to miss anything if they have some something they want to add. <laughs> Okay, um, select board. Um, and Sorry, Bobby, I think we need to pause. There's too many things and I didn't okay. get it to like write all the notes and I'm trying to get sure. back to the. So where do we wanna put this? This is an old business, the coordination. Yes, okay. old business. Um, all right, so let me just, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, all right, so we called, you called it Coordination. Um, yeah, I just want to stress that that it's not just that we want to, like you just said. I mean, you said both of these things, so I'm just going to say it again. Um, it's not just that we value their opinion. We can't do this without them. And so I hear, Jane, that like they're strapped, but if we don't, you know, right. we have a month, which is awesome. Right. Like we have yeah. six weeks. Yes. So if they'll be less strapped in May, then it's not like we need to talk to them right now, but we can't. Well, I'll, we can't I'll find out what they need. Okay. Yeah, and we'll know a little a bit more minutes. about what we're going to ask them for in 20 minutes when we start talking about the application. Okay. Are you caught up? Tony, thank you. You do. Yeah, I'm going to just do it. How you participate um, and take notes at the same time. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to make sure I get those thoughts, you know, how important it is, but yeah. I'll do it. I got it. Okay. Now for the, uh, and the select board, we have to figure out uh, when Jane is back, when best to meet with the select board. Um, I mean, I think it's still after we get the application finished, do you think, or in process? What, what's your pleasure? I think. I feel like we were, so I have a note here at the, that we said, we would meet with Board of Health and then we'd meet with Select Board and that still feels to me like the right order. Mm -hmm. um, because I think if we go in front of Select Board and say, we just, we only want to go in front of them once and we go in front of them and we say, we haven't talked to the Board of Health, they might and should say, well, then we are not going to you know, say anything to you. Right. Okay. So yeah. we'll, shall go ahead. Yeah, again, I think strategic advantage is to delaying that conversation until after May 17th, um, which should give us plenty of time to meet with the Board of Health before then. But we'll also um, likely it's have- It's pretty tight. We don't know, you know, it depends, because what's this do on the 26th or something? So it sort of depends 27. on the- It's a, I, I think that would make me nervous. Um, if they mm -hmm. made a, yeah. Uh, anyway, the thing is, if we go before continue. then, there are going to be four people on that board who are just not going to listen no matter what we say. Um, so, we, I mean, I'm a young in here. What do I know? But um, this is something that the town already approved. And so yeah. hopefully isn't controversial. Like if we approved it with the old, anyway. So I don't think, and, and it's it's kind of hard to read this, uh, read the, the specifics when the application. I don't think they have to approve the application. The town has already approved that we apply. Do you read uh -huh. it otherwise, Shell? 
I'm sorry, that broke up. Say it again. I believe that the town has already approved us doing it. As, as Tony said, I don't believe they have to approve the application. No, I, I, I don't think they have to approve it either, but I think that this was kind of a courtesy visit from us to them to fill them in on what we're doing. Um, and right now, uh, Jane is the only one likely to be doing. That's, that's fine. Tell them anyway. <laughs> Other people listen. There's an audience there. True. And it may be obvious if we can do it that they don't care and that might be useful. I suppose. Okay. Okay. So Jane, as uh, when you stepped away, um, we, we thought best we meet with the Board of Health or at least have some conversation with the Board of Health before we go to the select board as part of our information that we present to the select board. Okay. So, so um, I will talk to Susan Mosler tonight or tomorrow. All right. And uh, the application is going to be due the 27th of May. So we probably, if possible, would like to get before the select board at least two weeks before that, if possible. You're on for next week. Oh, we are. Get out. The 20th, right? Yes, that's next week. Next next Wednesday, the 20th? Oh. Okay. And a week from today. So who is going to represent us there? Well, maybe that's a moot point because it sounds like we're not going to meet with the Board of Health before then. And so. we think that we should meet with Board of Health first, right? So we probably want to bump that. Can we bump that, Jane? Absolutely. Okay, let's do a pending Board of Health, at least something, at least hopefully with a, with a deadline of at least two weeks before the application. Does that make oh, sense? May 4th? Be May 11th? I thought it would be the May 4th, right? May 4th is the next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now so we can talk about who can be there. <laughs> And I, May 4th is the day before town meeting. I don't know if there will be a special agenda or if there'll be room for us. Jane, would you? They may actually, what they did last year was not have that meeting. And they had a meeting the week before, mm -hmm. which would be the end of April. So I will find out what that's looking like. Would that be the information where pe the town meeting forum where people get to ask Maybe, maybe it will be separate. No, the, the town meeting forum never lets people ask unless it's an, a confusion, there, but there's no general discussion. Right. I'll talk to Carolyn and see what's, what's the good place. Because when is the application due? The 27th of May. So I, can I suggest that we want to meet with the select board between April 27th and May 11th because we want to, um, just in case something doesn't work out, we can go back to them on the 25th and still make our deadline. That's good. That, that sounds good. We may not, there may not be a meeting May 27th, April 27th. Just, well, that gives us three Monday, yeah, Wednesdays. Three, and I imagine they can't, they won't go three Wednesdays without having a meeting. So yeah. that's why I'm trying to be broad about it. Okay. Okay, whenever I can get in, I will get us in. Okay, but um, not the 20th, right? Because we- I will okay. move you off the 20th. Okay. And we'll try to get on Board of Health. Okay. So I'm, so- Tony, is that a motion that we try to meet between, or do we need a motion that sometime between the 27th and 11th with the select board? Is that, or just a suggestion? Yeah, I think good. A suggestion. <laughs> okay, good. I, I I've, been listening, great... I've been watching about, about 100 hours of school committee meetings, and I do know that they say they motion a lot more than we do, but, but I'm, I'm okay with the, the rate that we motion, so. As long as no one's arguing. <laughs> as long as you're okay with the rate. Okay. So we that's on the schedule. Okay. Another Jane to do. Thank you very much, Jane. We couldn't do this without you, literally. Okay. Let's move on to the actual application. Woohoo. All right. Um, 
I am going to try to share screen. I don't know how many of you have had a chance to look at it. Okay, let's application. Whoops, I went off. Hold on. I got to share screen. Where is it? You have to have the window open also before you share the screen open. It's open. There, can you see it? Um, Right now it says Bobby came in and started screen sharing. We don't see the actual slide yet. Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. There. There it is. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I'm going to run through this fairly quickly. Has anyone else had a chance to look at this? I skimmed it. Okay. Overview. This is the quick overview. Okay. So. Okay, regional historic. Oh, okay, it's just it's still loading. All right, here we go. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, the risk levels, um, which I have. Okay, this is important. The this first this these are the steps we need to do. Re regional historic EEE risk levels serve as the evaluation criteria for 2022 opt out process. Now. I have materials sent to me. It's it's actually in this document um, that we can look at. And as it turns out, Hadley is low risk. Northampton is low risk. And when we say risk, they do, do it on the basis of EEE, not West Nile, but EEE. Okay. Um, Amherst is high risk, which is really interesting, which puts us in a little different category than some of the others. Um, Chris Craig also sent us some materials uh, and it's good information perhaps to have on hand in terms of where they do the testing. We got the actual information. In 2021, there was a live sample uh, it, from Venture Way, but it's not EEE. Nobody in the state right now has EEE. So it, it just keep that in mind that we're not at a high risk. That's good and bad. I don't know if it's good because it's good because we have a low risk. If that means we're not going to be eligible, that's not that's not good. Okay, wait. The there, uh, you mean for opt out? Yeah. I I got the sense, Lou, reading through this, and and you can, you know, disagree that I read. We'll get to that. But there's like, if you're low, these are the things you need to do. If you're medium. These are the things you need to do, more things. If you're high, you're you're not getting out of it. Right. So I think that idea in the past where like, if you were low, they're not gonna let you opt out because they don't care about you. I don't see that in here. I don't think that's the case anymore or at least I'm hopeful anymore. Okay, well, if the evaluation is based on um, EEE risk levels. Okay. Right, exactly. Like if you're high, they're not gonna let you opt out. But we're right. like, I think low is is good, not not good and bad. Okay. All right. And then uh, the alternative mosquito management plan, it's only three education and outreach activities that we have to put in. We've already hosted the meeting of the city council select board. That was the vote last fall. Um, and then checklist, which is basically who, what, when, where, and we can get to that. So this is the regional uh, EE risk levels on that map. Hadley is green no, and amaranth um, is orange. Shell? Oh yeah, I was just gonna ask you what the colors meant, okay. Yeah, yeah, high, moderate and low. It's interesting, there's no moderate between us. It, it's hard to read it, but Hadley is actually in green and right next to it, um, Amherst is, low, is high. Um, all the other surrounding towns, I, I looked at the list, are all low, except for Amherst. Belchertown is high too, but that's for the east. Okay. I don't know that we need to look at the whole risk level table. Uh, if you want, I can bring it up. Does anyone want to look at the list or not? No. Okay, good. Okay. Um, okay. Up front, they want to be up front. Evaluation criteria has been updated. Okay, low risk. Okay, we are low risk. However, we're moderate risk because um, we have regional mosquito suitable habitat. 
So in other words, we're next to a high-risk community. Category includes any municipalities that are surrounded by high-risk municipalities. So that puts us in a moderate. Okay. Bobby, there's a difference between next to and surrounded by. Right. The criteria though, what the way we put it into the application is gonna be the same for low or moderate. But I think we need to be aware that there's a risk to the- Okay. Okay. Um, now, one thing about uh, that I did learn when I sat in on the uh, Pine and Valley Mosquito Control District meeting um, is that they only spray, the state only sprays if there's an EEE outbreak. They do, they do not ever spray for West Nile virus. Many people can get West Nile virus and not even know it. There's a lot of mosquitoes out there with West Nile. Um, what so, constitutes an outbreak? How well, many if, cases? I, I, that's a good question. But EEE, if you're talking about EEE, that's when they spray. The Department of Public Health makes that determination. And it's considered a public health emergency. There hasn't been a case of EEE in the state for many, for the last several years. It usually comes in waves of three years at a time. And right now, the risk is based on what the table is for 2022. Um, one thing to keep in mind, and just so you know, they said if the state does decide to spray, and we have not, and we have opted out, if the town decides, or if there's a public health emergency that you must spray, then the town would be responsible for spraying. But I think the town is not, I think that's an important point to remember in case it comes up. But the town, absolutely in this application, it says your town will not be sprayed if you have opted out. So if that's can the you, argument they're going to spray anyway, they will not spray your can town. We, before I put that in the notes, because that seems like a big deal, can we no, yeah. at some point find where that says that so we don't misquote it? Because that could scare people into thinking we should not exactly. go because we're going to have to spend a bunch of money. Let me find this. Um, okay. Uh, Mr. Patel is classified as well. I think it's further down. Okay. Let me find it. Um, okay. Chapters 120, the beginning here. EA must consider how the approval will impact not only a municipality that has applied to opt out, but those located in that region. As a result, any municipality is classified as high regional risk must demonstrate it can perform significant management, um, including the ability to perform work equivalent to that undertaken by the SRMBC in the event of public health hazard related to arbovirus. Includes a proof of ability to perform comprehensive active interventions such as a delta side and include detailed information on how much how such activity will be conducted in compliance with law. So okay, well, I don't know exactly how to write this in the notes, but the um we are going to be part of the PV, we are part of the PVMCD, and they are going to be able to start this program uh, next year. Right, they haven't done it yet. No, we don't know. <laughs> I mean, they, they're just talking about this year right now. When you say this program, like adult design and stuff, like he gave us a presentation that said starting in spring 23, they will be right. able to do those things. Right. One of the limitations is they have they're really short on funds, they're trying to get another truck from the state, um, they're really struggling right now, and also the. A mosquito control for the 21st century final plan um, approved to not to basically to do away with mosquito control districts. It has to be legislated yet. Um, and the reason they approved it, their understanding is that they needed an overall um, state plan that instead of each district they needed more efficiency and have an overall state plan for mosquito control. So 2023 is a little bit up in the air. Um, we're only, this application only applies to 2022. Keep that in mind. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. And, and to that note, right. I, this chap, this paragraph is saying if you're high risk, which we aren't, because like you said, that risk is based on that table already. They, we can't like, they're not going to find a mosquito next month and then say we're a high risk. Like it's right. already been determined. We're low risk, right? possibly moderate with the regional thing. If a municipality that is classified as a high risk, but we're not that, we're not in that category. So, this so they're not going to update risk factor according to new data. They're going to go with an old It sounds table. like they do it every year. Not, they do it every not, it's prediction. It's rapidly. based on the year before. They, they the twenty the, the the statistics or the high low whatever has been determined for twenty twenty two. The table represents twenty twenty two. It's based on someone on prediction based on last year. So what I'm hearing you say, Tony, is that this paragraph relates to the high risk. Yes, and you can see that with the paragraph above, you know, it's got that okay. colon. Um, I really think this isn't us, but especially in the middle, it says yeah. any municipality that is classified as high regional risk. Okay. Blah, 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 but that's not us. Okay. So if we get a high risk rating this year, this is a relevant conversation to say, okay, now are we worried? Should we not try to opt out next year? Likely okay. they probably wouldn't even let us, but we could we could talk more about it. Okay, thanks for the clarification. I was reading it differently. Thank you. I think I any any other comments or questions about that? I think that's going to be critical because the question that's going to come up is if if we, the town of Hadley, have to show that we have interventions such as applications of a delta side and other things, it's going to cost money. And that's where mm -hmm. The brakes are going to start squealing. Right. right. So we're not putting that in our plan. Nowhere in our plan right. are because we saying. Because we're not high we're... risks. Right. Right. And unfortunately, this data doesn't come out till the, when they put the application in. So, I mean, the timing is, is a little squirrely. But anyway, so it doesn't apply to 2022, right? Is it what we're saying? But it, it, we have to keep that in mind. I think it's a good point, Jane. We really need to keep that in the back of our mind and continue to track it. Okay. All right. Uh, the template. The template's pretty basic. Um, whoops. This, all this stuff uh, holding me, this is the same as last year. We held a public meeting, blah, blah, blah. We got the vote. Um, and then the checklist. So let's look at the mosquito plan template. I actually put this. So does that have to be an annual meeting or can the one that we did way back count? Well, we did it, we didn't put it, at, well, we did way back counts because it was after the season was done. So the one vote, I'm assuming the vote we took was, it didn't have a date on which year we were gonna do it, Jane. Okay. I mean, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm- Yeah, looking. and it couldn't have been for last year because- It was too, it was, it was after too late for last year, so yeah. Okay, so here's, this is all we have to do for the application and a checklist. Okay, so two things. One, you're not sharing that screen yet, Bobby, but don't move it oh. yet. Um, so just to keep clarifying this, this thing here. So we said, number three says the municipality must hold a meeting of the city council or select board. And did I remember correctly, there was a conversation where it was like, or towns that have town meeting, because we used town meeting. We're going to go and, right, that this wasn't voted by this. Is this a problem? Yep. This is the same thing that happened last year, though. This is the same exact direction as last year. So that might be, do you think maybe that could be a clarification to someone we can ask about it, that we got it? Because it does say date and time of the public meeting, but the public meeting could be the public meeting. This I, ha I have tried calling the e EEA, well, does not answer the phone, they have an email, but I can try, try. I've tried calling them, they don't return calls, I will. Uh, the, the thing is that the select board is our executive branch, and um, town meeting is our legislature. So it's uh, if they're asking for select board or um, or town meeting or what we call town council, then the town meeting is not really analogous to that. Well, 
Yeah, they're asking for city council. I mean, ideally, we can we can maybe hedge our bets and say this was voted on a town meeting. If before the application is due, we can resubmit it to the select board in mid-May or after the election, you know, b before it's due, maybe we can have votes on both, both votes. I think it's critical. Yeah, I, I, I will try. Um, you know, it's interesting because we didn't, it was the same exact language last year and we didn't, I, 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 I'm, I'm just concerned that we, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's a, it's a red flag. We have to I try have to this little that. thought in my head about having a conversation where somebody that seemed like they knew what they were talking about said town meeting counts too, but you're right, child, they're not the same thing. So like we have a select board, yeah, but, so it's uh, not like we don't have a city council or a select board. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I think if, we the ordinance, assume... if, if the state law says select board or city council, then select board's got to do it. Hmm. Wow. Um, but I don't know if the, the person from the, was his name Chris that came to talk to us a few months ago? If he said something different, then maybe he knows something. He different. doesn't, he doesn't, he's not part of the EEA. He doesn't really have any oversight over the application. Uh, unfortunately, they have opinions, but uh, <laughs> I can see if I can get a get a, a a good answer on that. Again, EEA doesn't open doesn't answer their phone, so that could be that could be a showstopper for us. I hate to say it. Um, um, could could uh, do you have an email address for them? I do, but I will do my best. I've tried calling. I will do my best to do the email as soon as we finish this me meeting. I will email yes. them because then we again have the issue of the composition of the select board. Um, if, if we have um, to go for them. And so regardless, if you go it back changes, to the other- It changes at the meeting of May 17th. Bobby, 18th, can you go back to May the 18th. other- um, The other screen? Let's see if I can um, get back there. Can you see that? No. Uh, if you just share your screen, you can do it, or you have to keep sh sh switching applications on the share screen. I am sharing screen. Let's see. Right, like, but I mean, if you sh hit share screen, then hit screen. <laughs> um, your share. It says I'm doing it. I'm looking at your screen. I'm seeing um, something with a, a black. Right, but you can then the share yeah. either an application. Uh, you can sh you can share your screen, and then you share an application, or you share screen. I know it okay. sounds like the same. I'm saying one thing, but I'm saying two steps. Okay, okay. there. Share. <laughs> How's that? You get awesome. that? Thank you. Much um, better. So I just wanted to, if you go down a little bit, this is important stuff in here. So, okay. well, as we were just saying, so we have to go in front of select board. They have, we have to give a presentation. We have to show in that we got feedback from the local board of health and we have to get allowed for public comment. That part's easy. Um, so in here, just saying we have to get the feedback from the board of health um, and we have to present everything. And public comment was allowed during the select board meeting, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, they changed and in the our rules. presentation. We'll say the town voted for this, um, but now the application shows that we actually need your vote. Okay, all right. Okay, but then it says the checklist. We have to provide a copy of the certified vote. Do they certify votes, select board votes? I have that copy in my desk. But that's a select board vote. No, that's the that's town, meeting, the town vote. meeting vote. Oh. Right, See? but what about select board? The question is, could we get it a certified vote? Of the vote certified vote. Board? So it's not clear. The application is not clear. I don't think that's unclear. It might just be that other towns certify select board votes and we don't. Maybe, yeah. I've probably never heard of that. Maybe city councils, because they don't have town meeting. Yeah, um, I think they I think they do certify votes in, in some city councils. All right. Well, that's another question for EEA. I'll, I'll get on that immediately. Oh, boy. It's going to be tough with it. Good Friday. Okay. 
All right, we'll do what we can, but let's keep on as if we're going to submit it. I think we should. But then, so, then we absolutely want to be on the agenda for the select board on May 18th, because that's going to be our last opportunity before the deadline and our first opportunity with um, the board for the following year. Well, I think that's something we got to discuss and then vote on, Shall? Yeah, well, I'm, that, I'm advocating my position and I, I don't mind making a motion to that effect. Um, the conversation earlier was that you should have that as your backup meeting because of the deadline meeting. Right. And we could always come back for a second meeting, which might have a different result from the May 4th meeting. Well, what I'm saying is if we need a, a vote from the select board, we could go to them in April or whatever and brief them, but then not ask them to vote on it at that meeting and not ask them to vote on it until the 18th, because that's the meeting that would likely pass it. And the uh, any earlier meeting would likely not pass it. And, the, and what we don't want is to have a negative vote on the record. We, I'm going to check with Jessica about what this um, means about certified votes. Okay. That's on my list, Tony Lynn. Michelle, did you have a comment on that? No, I was just thinking we should probably present on the 4th, but maybe we should also present again on the 18th as a forum with public input that day. Um, you know, just be prepared to do both. If after the election, Jane, if they have, do you think that they will have a meeting immediately follow, following the election? That is correct. And that's when the, that's when the select board changes. So the election is on the 17th? Election is Tuesday, select board is Wednesday, and the new members appear, and the old members do not. And at that meeting, is there likely to be some housekeeping, or are they ready to dive into issues? Well, the only housekeeping is to appoint a chair and a clerk. Um, I kind of like Shell's suggestion that we do the courtesy presentation of where we're going and then come back, get a feel for what the sentiment is and then come back for vote. Uh, was, I'd like to make a motion unless that was just a motion, Bobby. No, go ahead. I'd like to make a motion that we make a presentation to the select board between April 27th and May 11th. Yeah. Um, that is informational um, to, to set the stage to kind of see what questions they have so that we can um, go back and answer them and then come back to them on uh, May 18th uh, for uh, an updated presentation and public comment and a vote. And that also allows us in case we don't get Board of Health feedback completed, we can do that by May 18th. I second, second that motion. motion. All those in favor? Oh, so Aye. Tony made the motion and Michelle seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Bobby, aye. 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 All, all in favor? Jane, is that doable? Do you th or does that make sense? I just made a note to see if we can pull that one off. <laughs> so shall I realize that's what you said, but I just said it a little bit differently. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a prima donna. Okay, that's good. And there, if there are questions that come up, it'll give us a chance to get some background data if there's issues. Okay. All right, moving right along. Um, and let's just finish going through the application, throwing these details, and then we will go back to the application. Okay, checklist, template. Um, there's a template is basically the administrative piece of what needs to happen. And his notes. Um, how can I figure out how to get this view? So you, can you read read all this? How do I get the view? Oh, okay. Um, okay, anything here? Oh, okay, it's only, we don't worry about the rest of this. Let's see. 
Okay, approval of a plan does not extend to any spraying conducted by a mosquito control district of which Mr. Taylor didn't even remember. Um, they're not doing any spraying anyway. Um, okay, she'll be effective from the date of approval through December 31st of the year in which it was approved. Okay. And is that the approval by the, the, state, the state or by the town? State. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, this is what we have to submit for the 27th, the checklist and the planned confirm uh, confirmation of certified vote, including the date and time, the Board of Health was consulted, public was, this is all in the checklist. Um, opting out of all, all spraying, correct? D, whether Ms. Bell is opting out of all spraying, only certain spraying activities such as aerial spraying. We have talked as a committee about only doing the aerial spraying opt out, but I, I would personally be in favor of opting out of all, but the question was whether the farmers would freak. Well, I believe that when we, the, you just reminded me when we voted on um, in May of 2018 to join the Pioneer Valley, we voted at opting out of all spraying that they would not spray, the MC Pioneer Valley would not spray. Okay. But, so for the record, we are voting, opting out of all spraying, correct? Which in all aerial spraying. All aerial spraying, okay. That's that's a crucial no. distinction. No, it's not, It's it's all spraying. Those are two different choices. Yeah, so we need to be clear on which one we're doing because Bobby just gave us both of us. So which is it, all spring or certain, uh, or just- Bobby, I thought spring? you just said that we, when we did with the MCD, we said all spring. Yeah, and that's what the town voted. That's what the town that's voted. The town that's voted. what we're doing. And so, I just have a question, does that include larvicide applications? Yes. Okay. So we are opting out of all spring, correct? Is that what I thought of aerial spraying? Well, let's get it clear. I don't have the vote here with me. It's in the senior center in that office. Which vote are you oh, we're talking about the recent vote? The town meeting vote. Town meeting vote. We opted to okay. I'll, I'll, let me find it. Okay, here's the motion was made and seconded that the town vote to opt out of the mosquito, mosquito spraying program conducted under the SRMCB. Ha! So we have to clarify what that means. I think it's the aerial, but we need to clarify. Wait, why do you think that's the aerial? Because I think the S SRMCB only does aerial. My sense was that it was aerial because um, the discussion that I remember was aerial drifts. That's not something we're interested in, but handheld for specific areas would be appropriate. Can I just point out the end of this D? <laughs> I think we just have to read the rest of the paragraph. So the if a vote does not include that it is for a specific type, the vote will cover all spray activities conducted by the SRMCB. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's what we, thank you. So <laughs> that's what we voted on, <laughs> covering all spray activities. Okay. That's what we, that's, that's what the town meeting vote was, right? Mm -hmm. But we have to go before the select board with this, right? This vote is going to be a select board vote. So we tell the select yeah, but board. We are not going to change what the town, the town voted. With our strongest case is to go into the select board and say the town voted to get out of all spray activities, according to SRMCB under MGLC 252. And this new application says that actually you need to do the vote. And so, so we're here. If, right. When you're there, I would say, 
town meeting voted and you appointed us to do the work for you. And here is what we have done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so making notes. Okay, so it's all spring. Okay. Okay. Acknowledgement the vote to opt out will only be honored if all application of components are submitted and approved. Okay. Couple of questions. Um, frequently asked questions who approves? We know that EEA approves it. Um, what does having an approved plan do and what spring activities can a municipality apply to opt out of? We're opting out of anything. The approval of the plan will not perform spray activities in the community municipality. It does not extend to activities conducted by the Mosquito Control District or any spray activities they perform of which we are a member. Okay, and right now they're not doing any spraying in the Pioneer Valley. What is the municipality that wishes to opt out? Is What if the, is already a member of the MCD? We are. We have to submit, there's no separate process. Okay. What is the difference between mosquito control activities conducted by SRMCB and the MCDs? I'll give you a chance to read this. I mean, right now they don't do anything. So do right anything. now the difference is that the SRMCB does things and the MCD they monitor. monitor, but I mean, they don't do mosquito control. Correct. Treat, treatments. You're right. I, I shouldn't say anything, yeah. but okay, not that's... laboratory treatments and not yeah. adult okay. So if we're low risk, though, didn't it say we didn't have to have a plan? No, our plan has to include outreach activities. We haven't gotten this. There's, there's a thing we have to go through. We have to have something. The approved plan. We'll get to the application plan. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave in about five minutes. Okay. Um, do you want to? Do you, folks, do you want to plow through the plan today or do you want to schedule another meeting when Jane's available? We'll just go through the instructions today and we can post this on Google Docs to work on. What do you want us to do, Jane? Do you mind missing it? I don't care. I, I would like to go. I want you to do as much as you can time. and ask me if I can help. Okay. Thank you, Jane. Okay. Should we plan another meeting before Jane gets off? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Um, we planned already, I thought. Um, let's. Oh, no, no. I, no, I, I, I thought think that was last time. time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think is reasonable? Two weeks from now? One week? Let's see. So the soonest we need to have something done is before April twenty uh, second, and we don't even really know if April twenty second is an option. But um, that's a Friday, the twenty second. Yeah. So can we meet? Can we make a meeting for the twenty first and potentially cancel it if we don't have the board of health meeting yet? And no, so I'm really one. busy with the uh, climate day setting up the senior center. Of course. Okay. So then um, maybe we can do stuff online uh, if we can't uh, meet before the Board of Health meeting, like in our Google. Okay. And if we just need to have something probably on paper before the 27th, if that's a potential date for the select board, right? Let me see if I can get a reading on that. Um, yeah. And I don't know, you know, for meeting on the 20th, last year they kept meeting every week up to about this time thinking there was too much happening. So I don't know. And then the question is, are they going to have the town public forum to explain the town meeting? And that would usually be the Thursday, the 28th. And whether you would be included in that or there'd be a different meeting, I don't know. So I can do the 20, maybe that school committee meeting. Shoot. What about the 25th? Um, 
25th, Monday? Yeah, I was going to say the 25th, but uh, I can do the 25th at 4 o'clock. That works. Um, I guess that's okay. Um, do you think we're going to meet for two hours? I usually work Mondays, Wednesdays, but I can. that's better than later in the week. So... Did we say four o'clock? Is that what we said? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I might not be available after five anyway, Michelle. Let's just okay. see. Maybe we won't have to. Try to meet from four to five on yeah. the 25th? Yeah. Okay, April 25th. We can't meet any earlier, like 3.30, can we? I can't. I'm sorry. Okay, um, April, April 24th at four to five is posted on Google Docs and... and what we don't get done today. Okay, April. Okay, April. And this is going to be another Zoom meeting, or can we have an in person meeting? Just knock this thing out. Um, I'm going to be on a meeting until four, but I could come a few minutes. I could like call in until I get to the wherever you are. Um, Let's do a Zoom. We'll do a Zoom. Try to do it offline. Okay, Zoom from four to five on the 24th. Okay. I'm the Thanks, 25th. Bobby. I know so you really work. wanted this one in person. I'm um, Bobby. <laughs> yes. It's the 25th of April, not the 24th. Oh, I'm sorry. 25th. It's yeah. Monday, not Sunday. Right, right. Yeah, 25th. Thank you. I would have posted it incorrectly. Oh, okay. 25th. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, thank you, Jane. Appreciate it. I'll get that stuff It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. We can move on. Okay, 25th at 4 to 5. Okay, we're moving right along here. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, if the municipality has an approved plan when the municipality would be sprayed in the event there's a public health, this is, this is really important. This is if the question is or comes up that they're gonna spray anyway. We will not be sprayed in the event, whether aerial or ground. So that answers that question that came up in the past. Um, exclusion requests submitted by private property owners Okay, we're not concerned That's not about us. That. We're not dealing with that. No. What will they consider when reviewing the application? Each municipality will be individually reviewed, historical virus risk, regional impact, and the ability of municipality to successfully implement a plan. What are the minimum requirements? Public outreach, appropriate level of detail. Okay, and then the deadline. Okay, that's the application. Um, let's. Uh, that's the, the background. Should we look at the al actual application template? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get it. I think yeah, I you have sent it. that out earlier, right? Because I think I, I did. But we can it. Walk through it. Let's see if I get the right one. It looks very much like last year's. It's great. We did our work. I feel like the stuff we did leading up to this was very helpful. It was. And I, it's crazy. Like six weeks is a long time, but we've got all these big things happening in between. And so if we just started right now, I do think it would have been more stressful. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so if this goes up in Google Docs, I think it's basic. I can fill it in. Uh, actually, I think it's on Google Docs pretty much. I think it is because it's basically just that one chunk. You know, you could, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a copy of what we did before. Okay. And then, so the original is just still there. And then I'll delete everything except for the education and outreach plan. Um, okay. Does that work? Yeah. Make sure yeah. it's the same one. I think it is, but. Yeah. And I'll double check. But Will you label everything like copy or working copy or something? So we're all on the same page. Sure thing. I'll put the other one. I'll call the other one old or something. Okay. <laughs> So you won't even know that it exists, but it'll be back there in case you okay. at the on the tray there. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Trying so, to get the game to baseball. <laughs> okay. So my understanding is that we still need to fill this out, even though the other one will be there. We can pretty much put the same thing in. Is that or are you just going to call this one this the new one? The old one. Let's see if it's the same Work one. Work from the Google Doc like you did last time. We'll pretend it's the new one. And then I'll do some magic in the background after we talk. I can't take, I don't think I can do it right now. I think it'll mess us up. But, um, okay. but just ignore the like.
stuff around it, you know, and we'll just zoom in on the okay education and outreach. Program. Okay, so we do that. And I just want to look at the checklist and I think we're going to be done for today. Uh, the checklist. Okay, so this is new. Oh, no, this is the old one. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. It's okay. We can't see your screen because you're still not oh, sharing shoot. screen. You're just sharing I'm applications. Sorry. So. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> All right. Sorry. Let me get okay. Okay. New share. Okay. Where is it? I headed up. Um, Should be like screen one or screen two or something, and then we can just see what you're seeing. Template. Oh shoot! I thought I had it open. What's this? The first one, and then click on the other one, and then start sharing again. Ah. So just can see that. Yeah. But that's the education outreach. That's not the one. He's, that's, let's see if I can. I'm so Yeah, this should be. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's go back it. to this. We'll go back to this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, um, we could all go to the attachment you sent us and watch, see it on our own. Screens you, that might be easier. To. That might be better because it's the print is microscopic there on your. Okay. There. All right. And then we can talk. We can scroll through it ourselves without having to wait for you if we want to check a point. Thank you. That'd be great. All right. So, um, there's the So that would be um, what I'm. Oh, this is the alternative, oh, checklist, there it is, okay. Okay, great. Now I gotta find it. It's in the uh, the packet you sent with the agenda for this meeting. I know, okay. Checklist. So I'm gonna share for a minute. Um, Please do. So everyone's looking at the checklist which I also just dropped in the um, folder. So if you wanna work off of that checklist, that would probably be the best one. Um, but here's what we wrote already in here. Um, so here's a whole bunch of notes and we can kind of talk about, so I don't think we have to worry about that stuff. We only have to focus on these things. Can you do um, a control plus a couple of times so that we can actually yep. read? It? Um, That's good. And so, uh, does it, because I'm only looking at this one, does it, do we still have to do the narrative? I think we can beef it up a little bit. I can beef it up a little bit. I think some of the narrative that uh, in terms of risk and such, we can beef it right, up. And so it is required. I, I'll look here. It is required. Yes. Okay. Um, so here's, oh, that's the wrong one. Let's see, where's the right one? Let's see. I just did that. Okay, there it is. Sorry, I thought it was in there. Um, okay, so we'll want to. All right, let's see. So, paragraph one to two paragraph, we can beef that up. And then the education outreach materials that we intend to employ. So note that it's a one to two paragraph narrative mm -hmm. that lists these things. So there's, uh, you know, we have a lot more here. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Well, uh, here well, we have like more than one to two paragraphs, right? So this is where we can start to like do a little, figure out like what work we want to prioritize for ourselves because we can't fit this in the plan. And well, so we don't need to Bobby's write-up was just three short paragraphs. I think, I think that's what they were referring to. Right. Um, and then the rest is like a checklist. What I think I would change in Bobby's thing is it says you have to determine the historical risk. So we say we are deemed a low risk community. We could say as shown by the map of, or the, you know, surveys of such and such year, such and such year, just beef it up a little bit that way. Right, I agree. What I, I 
I, what I was saying is that they say a one to two paragraph, which, you know, we can, yeah, we can make this a little bigger and make it two paragraphs, but all these other things either go in the paragraphs, the one to two paragraphs, or they're just an X. No, they're, so we have to, I'm sorry for interrupting. We have to give detail on what they are. Where? That goes, I, don't I see that. think on the checklist that's later on. No, um, it's on the education and outreach. You have to. This says check it all off. I don't see anything that explains where you would put details. They're just check marks. The education outreach. I I don't. I can't see this. See what's going on. I'm here. sorry. I'll make it bigger. I mean, you have this already. This is the old one, right? I don't think so. Yeah, that's the old one. It's a one pager. I don't. I think it's the old one. Nothing. It says a listing of at least. Oh, I three. beg your pardon. I, okay. Okay. So this is the new one. Yeah, this is the new one. Oh, okay. So what I'm saying is, all we have to do is do one to two paragraphs, and then after that, we just hit check marks. So I would suggest tonight we decide which of these check marks. We, what things we want to check off. And then we can put a couple of the details in the paragraphs, but we don't have to talk about Hartsbrook and all these other things because we have a list of like 200, not 200. We have a list of like 60 things we're going to do. We can't even fit those in the plan. Um, so I think we need to figure out what are the three to five if we want to do, you know, be overachievers. I, I think we could not have some general language. Like we will do a... Um, uh, extensive outreach program as outlined in Appendix A or something like that. So you want to add an appendix that they didn't well, ask for? We can put additional comments at the bottom. Additional comments go to the, at the bottom if you want to put it in. Okay. That. Yeah, but yes, Tony, I, I, I do. Uh, that way they can... I guess it. whoever wants to, I just want to make sure they volunteer because we're all super busy and I don't want to I will do, do two it. times as much as the state is going to ask for. And I don't okay. even mean in the, in the application. I mean, whatever we say we're going to do, we have to do. Right? Well, I think, I think we already made a list and assigned people as to what they were we going did, to do. To some extent, they're huge things, right? It's a lot of stuff. So I just want to make sure that, because that is the application is not asking for that. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we can also we can hedge our bets by saying this is what we intend to do, rather than committing ourselves to do it. <laughs> and Bobby, I, I can work with you on the language of this if you want. Um, Please, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you and I should just um, set up a, a, a yeah. call or a meeting at some point, and yeah. probably take ten minutes. Yeah. Okay, we're so maybe. Doing... Go ahead. Can we go through then this list when we're all together and? decide which of the things we want to check off here. Yeah, and I'd be happy to go through the list. I feel like if we're doing all these things, you know, it, it's not that much to say we're doing it and it'll maybe give us feathers in our cap or brownie points with them. Um, I don't know that there's that. I, I agree, we should go through this list, but I, I think most of these things we're already committed to do. It's mostly postering and distributing and, but, but if we're not going to, I don't, do you want to go through them today or do you want to just look at the check? Let's I would like to go through them today. It's, I think we can do it in five minutes if you're all sure we're doing them. I, okay. I might want to vote on some things because okay. Okay. I don't feel committed to doing all these things. And I, I feel I nervous because I'm just going to say that I feel like Bobby's done a lot. Yes. And, does. and I don't feel like, you know, and, and like Michael hasn't shown up and, you know, like, I'm not even sure how long I'll be on the committee after May. Like, we have to do these things once we say we're going to do them. And so let's just make sure that we're not. Um, I hear you, Shell, that we can say we're going to do them and then maybe not do them. But why would we bother? Like, nobody's asking us to do it. So why would we overpromise and then a month later not come through? This isn't well, something I'm, I'm not saying months. we overpromise. I'm saying that we say that these are the outreach activities that we have discussed um, 
you know, and, and obviously we're doing some of them, but we don't have to say we have decided to do this. We haven't decided about this one, one way or the other. We've decided not to do this. I think we can just give them the list. And again, it demonstrates that we have taken the responsibility seriously to make sure the community is informed um, about the alternative methods of mosquito control besides getting shot at from an airplane. So, okay. All right, let's go through, let's. Where did we write down our list before? I'm just trying to. It's on last year's application. Okay. It's also, there were minutes from, I think the meeting that I took notes at that had a pretty good list. Right, right. And I think that was the to-do list, so. So could we run through it? Bobby, do you mind running through that? I don't mind running through it, so if I can't see it, I don't know where it is. I it's what you sent in the email. So okay. I mean, I can just I will look track, at the hard but... copy then. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay, let's run through it. Okay. I just can't share my screen and take notes, sorry. Okay, all right. So education outreach, development distribution of brochures and handouts. We're going to, we've already started distributing, right? Sure. So we have distribution, so check. Okay, door-to-door -door canvassing. We are not doing that. Correct? Correct. Um, except if the you only thing is that speaking to property owners. So what about like the asparagus festival and the um, climate, climate day action stuff? day, climate day? I mean, well, like it, does have, speaking... it does have tabling at events as an Oh, tool. right, right, right. That's not door-to-door. -door. Sorry, never mind. Okay, okay. yeah, so we're not doing two. Okay. So we're not, no, so no on that one. Okay, um, and I will up, is somebody doing this online or I will, I will. I, will I am, I am doing it. Okay, social media, we're not doing social media, correct? I am not on social media. Facebook, so. Twitter, other social media, we're not doing that, correct? Not committing to it. If somebody wants to put something, I guess they can, but. But All that's right, not so part of our skip plan. that one. Right. Skip that one. Okay. Mailings. We're not doing mailings. Correct. Correct. Okay. Media outreach. Possibility. Um, and I know we've talked about this, how difficult it is to get. Um, we already have an on uh, press releases. I do think we could do a press release. What? Whether it gets sent, we don't know. But I think press release is a possibility. Okay. That sounds easy enough. I know um sounds like something, Shell, you also would be into, right? Yeah, I have some skills in that area. Okay. Okay. Right, so I'll Present check off media outreach. We are already do we're doing presentations, right? We're gonna go to this the May 7th Select. center. School based programs. And, and also the select board will count on that too, I think. <laughs> I right. think so. But yeah, it's good. We have another one just in case it's not supposed to count. <laughs> okay. 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 And uh, school based. You know why there's a blue flag next to some of these? Do they get not extra on credit? The, I'm it's, not on the Google. I'm account. on the document. It's a, it's, it's a fill right in the, it's so you can write it in. Describe. Some of them say describe target audience. Okay. Thanks. The, okay. The, this version doesn't show that. Yeah. Okay. So we're not doing school-based program? No, we're not. Although it is a little weird because we are putting stuff at schools and that isn't, I guess we could just say that in other. Well, there's a thing K through 12, teachers, students, camps, et cetera. Those are audiences though. Right. So let's now, say- where does it say, oh, let's I guess say. distribution of handouts and then the audience is a school. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So I didn't mean to get off. So we're not doing oh. school-based programs. Okay. Right. We are tabling. We got plenty yeah. of examples of that. You can write those in. Website. I will okay. get the MOOC site up. That's the <laughs> town site. Okay, okay, I'm feeling better. We're only doing five to six. Okay, is there something we want, things we want to put in other? Do we have other before? Let's see. Like, what about the, I don't know if we want to do this, this feels kind of heavy to me, but um, what about trailhead stuff? That didn't really, 
I don't know if that fits into any of these oh, categories. We could put yeah. it together. It was posters, yes. Yeah, because yeah, we can check our recreational. Yeah, we yeah. have we have some we, intentions for that. I think we ought to put that. Some somebody would need to specifically contact the various administrative agencies like DCR and and Kestrel. Yeah, we've already. I think well, we're all already, assigned to those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm and I'm happy to do any. Right, Shell. You had Barstow's. I mean, we um, Trailheads. I think we talked about the um, reaching out to trust uh, Mon Holyoke Range. But yeah, I actually spoke to Lola, and she said fine. Okay, so good. So we're doing that. So other, we'll we'll put in some of the state front. Yeah, add that. Okay. I, I, I think what I said to her is, uh, could you put something in your newsletter? I don't think I talked to her about trail. They they would not be the people who would be in charge of trailhead signage. Okay, well, newsletters, that's good. Yeah, is that anywhere in here? Hmm. No. Is that distribute? I don't think it is. Social media. 